Hi biologists, let's start by looking at the learning objectives for this lesson. At the end of this section and following the biology syllabus, you should be able to describe bioprocessing with immobilized enzymes, the procedure, advantages and use in bioreactors. What does this actually mean? What are we trying to understand? It is straightforward enough. You have to be able to describe the use of immobilized enzymes to produce a product. You must be able to describe the procedure involved in the use of immobilized enzymes, the advantages of their use and their use in bioreactors. Let's sort immobilized enzymes by first looking at bioprocessing. Bioprocessing comes up in the section on bacteria. So what is bioprocessing? Bioprocessing is the use of enzyme controlled reactions to produce or make a product. In the past, microorganisms like yeast and bacteria were used to make products like bread, wine, cheese and yogurt. So when the baker was making yeast bread, he'd be surprised to be told that he was bioprocessing. Nowadays, enzymes can be used to make things like antibiotics, detergents, lactose-free milk and sugar syrups. So, bioprocessing is normally carried out in containers called bioreactors. A bioreactor, as we have just said, is a vessel or container or a tank, basically, in which living cells are used to make a product. Be careful of the word product. I have found from experience that a lot of people do not understand what a product is. A product is something that you are making. If you are making yogurt, then the product is yogurt. Now, if freely dissolved enzymes are used in these tanks, this is very wasteful because the enzymes will be mixed in with the product and they will leave the vessel or the tank at the end of the process. It would be a lot more economical if we could hang on to them and recycle them. So in industry, immobilized enzymes are used because they can be recovered, reused and recycled, so cutting costs. Another advantage of immobilized enzymes is that the enzymes are kept free from contamination. The tank is kept sterile or free from microorganisms. The pH or the acidity of the tank contents, the temperature and the product levels, for example, are all carefully monitored. So, what are immobilized enzymes? Immobilized enzymes don't move. Immobilized enzymes are enzymes that are attached to each other, to an inert material, or they may be trapped in a gel. This is a very important definition. They are very fond of asking this in exams. When you think about it, immobilized enzymes are very similar to the state in which enzymes are normally found in nature because enzymes are normally immobilized in cells. There are two main procedures for immobilizing enzymes. There are physical methods which do not involve chemical bonds as such and there are chemical methods which involve chemical bonds. The physical methods involve adsorption. Adsorption involves attaching the enzymes to something else. Another physical method is enclosing the enzymes in a gel or putting the enzymes into a membrane. The chemical methods involve bonding the enzymes to an inert support, rather like a glass bead, or bonding the enzymes to each other. 
Let's have a closer look at these methods. In adsorption, the enzymes are physically attached to inert supports. They're physically attached to a glass bead, for example. Adsorption reminds me of those licorice sweets. The enzymes can be enclosed in a gel. They are trapped in a jelly-like material, perhaps sodium alginate, which is obtained from seaweeds. The gel or the sodium alginate will allow the reactants, what the enzyme is going to act upon, to enter the jelly and the jelly will allow the product or what you are making to leave. Lastly, the enzymes might be enclosed by a membrane, a semi-permeable membrane. We met this word before. Semi-permeable controls the passage of substances. A semi-permeable membrane acts rather like a sieve, letting small things through, but stopping the passage of bigger substances. So again, this semi-permeable membrane will allow the free passage of the substrate or the reactants and it will allow the exit of the product. And just like the gel, the enzymes are trapped, they can be recovered, they can be reused and thus cutting costs in an industrial process. Let's have a quick closer look at the gel immobilization procedure. Here, as we've just said, enzymes, or on occasion cells like yeast, are trapped in jelly-like beads made of sodium alginate. The beads are hardened somewhat using calcium chloride solution. The enzymes will still catalyze the reaction, but are prevented from leaving the gel and thus can be reused. When the enzymes are chemically bonded to an inert support, they are bonded by covalent bonds. However, this is only suited for a limited number of enzymes because the chemical structure of the enzymes doesn't lend itself to chemical bonding to the inert support. An alternative approach is to bond the enzymes to each other. So when the enzymes are bonded to each other by chemical bonds, there's no need for a second substance. So you create an enzyme-only matrix or an enzyme-only substance. What are the advantages of immobilized enzymes? This is terribly important and one of the objectives of this lesson. The first advantage is, as we've already mentioned, enzymes can be reused, so the process is cheaper. The industry does not have to buy fresh enzymes every time it wants to carry out a chemical reaction. The enzymes are easily recovered at the end, so they can be taken out of the product. They don't leave the bioreactor. The product is cleaner. It can be easily purified at the end of the process. Immobilization is gentle, so enzyme efficiency is not actually affected. So the enzyme will work just as well whether it is immobilized or whether it is free. And immobilization can increase the enzyme's stability. It does not break down as quick. What are the uses of immobilized enzymes in bioprocessing or in industry? Well, there are three examples of using immobilized enzymes in industry. The first enzyme is glucose isomerase, penicillin acyclase, and lactase. Why we're at this point, we might notice that when you name an enzyme, the enzyme's 
name always ends in an ASE. Some enzymes do not end in ASE because they tend to have kept their old-fashioned names. What does glucose isomerase do? Well, glucose isomerase is used to create sweeter sugars to put into soft drinks. Penicillin acyclase is used to create new antibiotics and is very important in the chemical industry or pharmaceutical industry. And lactase is used to create lactose-free milk, toffee and caramel and so is used in the food industry. Glucose isomerase catalyzes the breakdown of the sugar glucose into a sweeter sugar fructose which is used for the soft drinks industry. We've already commented on naming enzymes that they should end in an ASE and now to mention quite often they're also named for the substrate that they act upon. For those of you doing chemistry an isomer is uh, where two molecules have a similar structure. So here we are making two sugars of similar structure. So that might help you to remember it as well. Penicillin acyclase catalyzes the reaction of penicillin to making a new antibiotic. This is useful because the new antibiotics help to kill a wider range of bacteria, especially with the development of superbugs that are immune to the antibiotics that are presently available. Now, lactose is the sugar found in milk. A lot of people have a lactose intolerance. They can be allergic to lactose. So, lactase, notice the ending ASE, Notice the beginning, LAC, giving us the hint that it acts on lactose. So lactase can convert the sugar in milk to sweeter sugars, glucose and galactose. And these sugars are used when making toffee or caramel. And if lactose is converted into these sugars, then the lactose is no longer in the milk. So hence, you've created lactose-free milk. And there you have it. Now that we've reached the end of our lesson, have we achieved our objective? Can you describe bioprocessing with immobilized enzymes? The procedure, advantages and use in bioreactors.